In this lesson, the target states, I can use the order of operations to simplify numerical expressions. Let's break that down a little bit to better understand what all those things mean. First thing I can point out is that this is an example of a numerical expression. It's a numerical expression because it's made up of numbers and operations. It has lots of different kinds of operations in it, so we're going to have to simplify it carefully using the correct order of operations. You remember, an easy way to remember the correct order of operations is to jot down PEMDAS on your paper. So when I look at this numerical expression, I'm going to look, at for, all, I'm going to look for all these parts. First thing I notice is that there are no parentheses and there are no exponents. So I can move right on to multiply and divide. And one of the tricky things about multiply and divide is that they happen together from left to right. Multiply does not come before divide. So in this problem, I wouldn't jump forward to this multiplication. I would look at the problem and look for multiplications and divisions from left to right. The first thing I see is a division. So 38 minus 18 divided by 2 times 3, the division comes before the multiplication. So I'm going to solve that part first. And I'm going to rewrite the problem. 38 minus 9 times 3 plus 8. So I'm not done with multiply and divide, because I still have multiply, so my next step is going to be this multiplication. From left to right, it's the first multiplication. 9 times 3 is 27. So I'm left with 38 minus 27 plus 8. So I'm done with all my multiplications and divisions. So my next step is to look for additions and subtractions. Additions and subtractions work similarly to how multiplication and division works. You do it in order from left to right. So although addition comes before subtraction in PEMDAS, I'm not going to jump forward to the addition. I'm simply going to do it in order from left to right. So my next step is going to be a subtraction. 38 minus 27 is 11. So I'm left with 11 plus 8. My last step is addition. I'm just going to solve. 11 plus 8 is 19. So my answer is 19, and I've completed all the steps in PEMDAS on this problem. Let's take a look at a few more examples. These are a little more complicated because I see some parentheses, I see some exponents, I see some brackets, so I see some nested parentheses. So I jotted PEMDAS down on the bottom of this page. So let's start evaluating the first one. So I'm going to look at this problem, and I see parentheses. So the first thing I'm going to do is go inside the parentheses. And I know the exponent's there, but the exponent's outside the parentheses. So I'm going to work inside the parentheses and do what comes first. Well, multiply comes before subtract. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 3 and get 9. And I'm going to rewrite the whole problem, just replacing that one step that I did to simplify. So I'm still working in these parentheses. My next step is going to be the subtraction. 9 minus 3 is 6. So what's, what comes out of the parentheses is squared. So I rewrite the problem. So I've solved all the parentheses, and my next step is an exponent. Exponents come before multiply and divide. 6 squared is 36. And it's... It's really helpful to break it down one step at a time and keep track of my steps so I don't make any errors. So I've solved my exponent. Okay, any multiplications and divisions? Yep, there's a division. 36 divided by 3 is 12 plus 3. So I'm done with my multiplications and divisions. My last step is additions and subtractions, and there's only an addition, so my answer is 15. So I worked inside the parentheses first. So the second problem... I have brackets, and inside those brackets I have parentheses. So I'm going to work inside those nested parentheses. 4 plus 12 divided by 4. Well, 12 divided by 4 comes first. Division comes before addition. So it's 4 plus 3 in parentheses, minus 2, and the brackets follow me down as well. They're still there. So inside the, the brackets I have my parentheses, and I'm still working in there. 4 plus 3 is 7, m minus 2, and I still have the bracket, and whatever comes out of this bracket is cubed. 7 minus 2 is 5, 
So it's 5 cubed. And 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. It does not mean 5 times 3. So 5 times 5 is 25 times 5. 25 times 5 is 125. So my answer to this problem is 125. Simplify it as much as I can. Okay, now it's your turn to try. Click pause, copy these two problems in your notebook, and solve. Show your steps as you break it down. So click pause, copy these problems, and solve them. And when you're done, click play, and I'll go over them, and you can see how you did. Good luck. Okay, now that you've had a chance to solve these two problems, let's go over them and you can check your answers. So number one, I see lots of different operations, but I see this parenthesis. And I might as well just jot PEMDAS down on my page to help me evaluate. So I go inside the parenthesis and I see addition, division, and multiplication. So I'm moving past exponents because I don't see any in this problem. I can cross that out. I'm on to multiply and divide. It happens from left to right, so the first thing I'm going to do is divide. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it's 4 plus 2 times 2. And that's still in parentheses. Divided by 2 outside, I'm going to rewrite the rest of the problem. So my next step inside the parentheses again is going to be multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, so it's 4 plus 4 in parentheses divided by 2. I'm still working in these parentheses, so my last step inside those parentheses is to add. Because the parentheses are there, this is one of the only times addition would come before that division. So what comes out of the parentheses is 8. So I'm left with 8 divided by 2. So the final answer to this one is 4. Okay, number 2. Number 2 also has parentheses. So I'm going to work inside these parentheses first. And the first thing I'm going to do is my exponent, because Solving exponents comes before multiplications and divisions. It comes before additions and subtractions. 2 squared is 4. It's 2 times 2. Plus 6 divided by 3. That's still in the parentheses. And it's 14 minus whatever comes out of those parentheses. So if I'm still working in the parentheses, my next step is going to be divide. Because division comes before addition. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So it's 4 plus 2 in parentheses. And it's 14 taken minus whatever comes out of those parentheses. All right, still working inside the parentheses. 4 plus 2 is 6. So I'm left with 14 minus 6. 14 minus 6 is 8. So my final answer is 8. So check your answers and see how you did. Great job, everybody.